G'day guys and welcome to the fields. We're doing something different today. We are on a we're on a metal detecting adventure. We're brought here by Rob. This is his field and he's been coming here for years and finds loads of stuff from 3,000 years old. Rob was just saying that he finds people's teeth that could be like 2,000 years old. So we've got, what have we got, Roman? Roman, medieval, two, two 3,000 years old. Incredible. It's all out here on the fields. I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to get detecting. So let's go see what we can find on these amazing fields. Let's find some treasure. <laughs> let's find some treasure. Coin. What do you got? Coin already. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? I don't know what it is yet. Smaller one. Oh, uh, it's a lion scent. Okay. First find a coin. I got a piece of trash. Uh, Dennis, too. you just got a coin. <laughs> yeah, it's a little crusty a little bit. But... It's, a, oh, it's crusty. Have you got some water on there? No. Look at that, Dennis. First signal. A coin. It I looks like a doubt, coin. yeah, which is a Dutch coin from the 16, 1700s. Old piece of glass, that. Look at the colour of it. Right on the surface, that one is. Get the little shovel and flip him out. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got a coin. Look at that. First coin of the day. Yeah, we've got a, uh, looks like a, it looks like a doubt. Yeah, he's seen better days, but yeah, it's a coin from the 16, 1700s right there. So that's really cool. Can't get a date on, me, on him, unfortunately. So we'll keep searching and see if we can get one that has some more detail on it than this. I'm on it now. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. It's like a tag of some kind. Yeah. I think it says Netherlands farm tag. <laughs> Gave a good signal. When I saw the silver, I was like, yeah, this is exciting. But uh, unfortunately, it's not old. It's very new. I just started digging this hole when Rob screams out from across the other end of the field that he's got something really cool. And here it is, the first Roman coin for the day. The coolest part about this find is we're nowhere on the right spot. The Romans were here, let's get digging. Have a look at this. It's right on the surface. That's a Roman bracelet. That's a Roman bracelet right there. Or a part of a Roman brooch. If I brush it up, it should be really green. Yeah, there you go. That's part of a Roman bracelet or a Roman brooch. I would say a brooch. How about that, huh? We got our first piece of Roman artifact in this spot. He found the coin over there. We're onto a good spot now. That goes in the in the pouch. Okay, cool. It's exciting. <laughs> right there. It's in that. Got it? That's him right there. All right. Let's see what we got. Small piece. Small piece, piece of, of lead. lead. Huh? They, give, they give a good signal. They, lead is a beautiful signal. Lead is like gold. It's very heavy, solid, so it gives a very similar tone, tone to gold. But unfortunately, yes, it's not it's gold. <laughs> Thank God it's rubbish. <laughs> You're sick of finding all the treasure, huh? Oh. I've got a signal right here. Did you drop some gold out of your pocket? It was right on the surface. Did you see that? Kicked it with my foot. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, more lead. Damn, I thought it was going to be gold. Oh, I can see it. What is this? Oh, it looks interesting. Huh. I just don't know what it is. Could be Roman. If anyone at home knows, let me know what that is. Look at this. That's a high tone, that could be a coin. Let's hope it is, huh? Let's have a look. There it is, it's in this piece of clod right there. Can we see anything yet? Look at that, but that doesn't that look like a Roman silver coin? Don't want to scratch it, you see. I'm just trying to wash it off, really. 
Black on that side. Silver on that side. Yeah, silver. Silver Roman. Silver Roman Denari. <laughs> I can see the gods standing here. Yeah, I, that's what I saw as well. I was just going to rinse hey, it off in the water. Look at you. Yeah, man. Roman silver. Roman silver coin. That is awesome. Not to know. Silver Denarius. I've never found a silver Roman coin before. Have a look at that, Dennis. So small. Yeah. yeah. Silver wow. was expensive. Yeah, silver was expensive. You had to work 21. For a day. One day of work, you got really. Denarius. Oh, I got paid around. for today then. For only half a day, I've been paid. <laughs> Let's go rinse it in the water and see if we can get a better look at this thing. Oh, man, so good. I'm not too sure if it is a doubt, so it could be older. Maybe we'll wash it back up home and see if we can get something out of there. But how cool is that, hey? Another coin. <laughs> All right. We're on a roll. Put him in the pouch. A Roman slingshot. A Roman slingshot. I have never seen that before in my life. From stone. From stone. Yep. They use it with catapults or... Yeah. They sling them. I heard yeah. they often cut holes in them to make them whistle as well. Could be. Yeah, to make them scarier. That is awesome. A Roman slingshot. Imagine that getting flung at you. Yep. It's a deadly weapon made of stone. This is stone lying on the surface. Oh, you've got good eyes to find that. It's number three. I had two one over there. Really? All right. That is a... Wow. It's an artifact. Yeah, that is a really old. cool artifact. This is Easter egg. Yeah, Easter, Easter egg. egg. 2,000 year old artifact. Well done, mate. Love it. What a find. Should be right on the surface here. Oh, it's in this half. Oh, there it is there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yes. That's a fibula. All right, we've got ourselves a Roman artifact right here. Look at this thing. He is looking awesome. If we clean him up, that should be like a piece of a, a Roman brooch. Just get the dirt off of him. You can sort of see the shape of it now. You have a look at that. It's got the hook on the end. Oh, excellent. How about that? Just dug him up right out of the dirt after thousands of years under there, literally thousands of years old. It's just incredible to think that Romans were here. If we teleported ourselves back 2000 years, we'd find some Roman guy searching for his brooch he dropped in the garden while he's plowing the fields. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Super cool. <laughs> Let's keep going. You. What do you got? A thimble? Yeah, and then... Uh... Oh yeah, like a Roman thimble. Yeah, man. Used for sewing, so everyone's got them even today. You put your finger in there and you push your needle through. That is cool. Yes, that's a proper artifact, Dennis. Yeah, finally. Nice. Cool. The hard work pays off. <laughs> Let's get him. Is it a coin? What do you reckon, Dennis? A coin? Yeah. Okay, I like the I like the vibes. Oh, it's right there. Let's see what we got in this mud. We'll break him open. See if we can reveal. <gasps> I can see green. <sighs> what is it? It looks like a piece of a brooch. Oh, look at that, Dennis. Oh my gosh. It's a piece of a Roman brooch. Yeah, man, it's a big one also. Oh. I don't know how far down it goes. My oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, Dennis, how about that for a piece of history out here in the fields, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Oh, so cool to find that out here. Look at it. That'll clean up so nice yeah. once we get all this mud out from in here. You can see the clasp and the, the hinge comes around. I think he's missing just a pin. Yeah, just the pin across. Wow, so there? stoked. Mate, I don't even remember. Here, give me your detector. Yeah, it's 19 copper. 19, yeah. Oh, that is going to clean up so nicely. Roman 
brooch out here in the field. <laughs> hey, you know the farmer's coming very soon to plow the field. Yeah. We've only got moments to go, so Dennis, get to working. It is around here. Yeah, wow, cool find. <laughs> we are on the Romans, 2,000 years later. Love it. Look at that. I'll clean him up. Oh, what number is it? 19. 19 here. Dennis is going to get his Roman brooch. Oh, please. Come on, Dennis. Still there. Still in the hole. Yeah. No. What do you got? Again, a piece of a bullet. Oh, no. Oh, Dennis, you do love guns, though. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> if it was a Roman gun, you'd love it. You got two silver coins. One from the 1600s. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. A silver coin, yeah. It's, uh, I can see the 39 written on the bottom. Yeah, the 1639. 1639. It's from Overijssel. All right. Really nice find, mate. Yeah, 1639 silver coin, and this one is about 1639 years older. Yep. But you've got half of him here. Half of a denarius. It looks like the same one as I found, huh? No, yours no? is nice. Oh, well, the same... Uh, same age. Yeah, same age. Oh, that is super cool. Okay. Put him in the pouch. Oh, there it is there. Huh. It kind of looks like a button. He looks like a button. You've got the loop there at the back and the button here on the front. Let's see if there's a pattern. No, it doesn't look like anything. All right, cool old button. Okay. Whoa, Dennis, is that, so what is it? A coin or a, no, no, it's, it's a, a button? Fibula. A fibula. <gasps> wow. With glass pasta. Yeah, with glass in there. That'll clean up so well. Oh man, that's the find of the day, Dennis. No. <laughs> yeah. A thousand years old, Dennis. Glass in there. That would have been really special for someone back then. Yeah, they were really fancy. Yeah, fancy. Schmancy. Something right here. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at like a round button there. Can you see him? Let me take my glove off. He's so small. Struggle to pick him up. Look at that. That is super cool. Is this a coin? The Romans had a tiny coin called a Roman Minim. And I'm not sure if this is one, but it is a Minim. Let me just spit on my finger a bit here and see if we can get some type of pattern out of that. You can see why it'd be easy to lose coins this side, huh? I think it is one. Oh, look at the pattern starting to come out. You can see it there. Wow. It could be a silver Roman Minim coin. Wow. Two silver coins in one day. They're very hard to find. And you can see why. Look at the size of him. But I think that is... A Roman Minim. Can anyone confirm this at home? Super cool. I think I got a silver Roman coin again. A Minim. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that, hey, for small? Silver? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool, it's huh? So small. So small. <laughs> Yeah, it's beyond small, huh? It's not a coin for you, man. Give it to me. You can lose. <laughs> he knows me too well. Nikki's looking after it for me. Yeah, nice catch, mate. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Cool. There you go, Nikki.
there must have been a, a village of Roman people living here. And, you know, just over years and years and years, they lost these. It's just hard to believe that they were right here on this field working. You know, you think it's a story, but then you find this and it's actually real. So cool. Oh, there we go. It's a tiny piece there. And it looks to be like a piece of a Roman brooch. It could be off a ring. Let me just clean this up. Hang on. You can see the tarnish. I'll put it on my finger. It kind of looks like it's made for a ring, doesn't it? Like a piece of a Roman ring. Wow, oh, I could be jumping to conclusions, but it does seem to fit my pit finger perfectly as a ring shape. Well, I don't know. There's not much left of it, but I wish there was so I could tell. What a bummer. If that was a ring and that's all that's left, we can't confirm now. Let's just say it is, huh? Roman ring? Check. <laughs> oh, here it is. I can see a round edge. Okay, do you see that little round edge there? Just over there. Let's flip him over. Hopefully he's a coin. <gasps> oh, come on. It's not a coin. What is it? It looks tiny. It almost looks like a tiny, tiny, tiny buckle. Do you see that? Wow, I wonder what that is actually. It could be like a decoration of a, some clothes. Very unique. I wonder what that's from. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm gonna give that to you, Nikki, because it's so small. Oh, that sounds really good, Dennis. I hope it's something good. I'm gonna turn you off because it's got a lot of interference right now. Well, that's him right there on the top. I don't know what it is, have a look. I'll take the glove off, it's this piece right here. Let's have a little look. Is he anything good? I can't make anything out of it. It kind of, oh, it's got a hole in the middle. So it's been squashed. It is interesting, because it does look like it has some markings on there. You can see those lines there. Let's clean this one up a bit, huh? Just give it a little, a little scrub. I think that's where it's been hit by the plow. That's not really a marking. It does have a hole through it here though. You see it goes from here out here. What do you think? I've asked this a million times today, but does anyone know what that is? <laughs> so many unique finds out here, I just don't know. I have to stay tuned on this. It's a tiny round... Oh, look at that. It's a button. It's got a little loop on in there. You see him on the top? And he kind of looks pretty shiny to me. He doesn't look copper. He could be a silver button. So we'll have to clean him up. Cool little find, huh? Took me a while, but I can see why he's tiny. Lots of small stuff on the field today. Like a round piece of lead shot. They're getting loads of artifacts in this area. It's funny, you got the whole field and then we've got this little hot spot going on over here. All right, let's whack him in the pouch. Keep on going. Come on. It could be, could well be silver. Still in here, let's have a look with the pinpointer. He's in here. Okay, here we go, the big reveal. Let's break open the clod. Yeah, he's in this one. Oh, there we go, look at this. We got a coin. Come on, what coin is it? He's looking, looking pretty thin. Yeah, it's looking more like a doubt than a Roman coin. It's thin and even. So yeah, that'll be a doubt, 16, 1700s. Nothing left to see of him. Cool though, cool find. Look, it's a fibula. <laughs> Just popped right out of the ground like that, super shallow. Let me take my glove off and get him. Oh, yeah, look at that loop, huh? Look at that, you can see the markings there. It's got like three little stripes, roops around. And I'll just clean the dirt out from here and you can see this is his like, little clip spring. Everyone had it back in the day and that's why there's so many to be found. 
and you know the more fancy people like today had more expensive ones but everyone had one and look at that super cool we found a lot of these out there so like a piece of uh, Roman art almost when it came to cleaning the artifacts I didn't want to do anything too strong so all I did was put some baking soda in with some water and just let it soak after a while you could see all the dirt came off and then I just pulled them out and rest them on a towel and left them to dry for a bit. That's all the cleaning you want to do with these artifacts. It took 2,000 years to get this patina. The last thing you want to do is scrub it off. The Roman silver denarii was a little bit tricky. It was very crusty. So I put it in with vinegar and baking soda and let it sit there for a few hours. Now, unfortunately that didn't work. It was still very crusty, which is forgivable. So after 2,000 years, I had to electrolysis it which turns the water very dirty, but it sends electrical signal through it and cleans off the crust. So now we can say good day to Aenea Galera Festina the Elder. She was born on the 16th of February in the year 100 and died on October 140. So she was the wife of Antonius Pius and also the auntie of Marcus Aurelius and she later adopted him. On the left of the coin, you could just read out Diva, which means she was worshiped as a goddess after her death. And on the other side of the coin, you see here is a Roman goddess. So she's standing up there in the middle and holding a staff in her right hand. So super cool. Dream find Roman silver coin and it looks still great after all these years with a bit of love. You said you didn't get one. Yeah, I didn't but, know. But that is a Roman brooch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah, it's super cool. You just clean it up like this and you can see the green patina in it. And uh, and when I'm sure you get home, you can clean that with a little soft brush in some warm water. And that'll come up really nice. And look at all these other things. Yeah, this is the best find of the day, I think, then. Yeah. Um, find of the day. Do you want to like kind of just lick your finger and wipe it and see if the glass comes up? See that red there? Yeah. That's the red glass from underneath with the cross. Yeah, I think that is the find of the day. And this is an interesting one. We don't know what that is. So if anyone knows what that is, that's let us know. Here we've got a finger hood, which is a sewing um, cap for your finger or a thimble, we call them. A couple of coins here, Dennis. Mm -hmm. Some really nice coins. You'll have to clean that one up. That one's an old one. And over here, I had a brooch fest. Oh, yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of Roman brooch. And you can just see walking through the field, you get teeth like this, um, lots of old teeth that have been there for, I don't know how long. Look at this cool piece of glass and some mystery items like this and all these other bits and green pieces up here. You see, these are all parts of brooches as well. Just the little bits left over. Um, I think this is a silver button here. Two uh, lead shot balls. And this one's kind of weird because it's heavy, but it's just like... Um, it's not round round. It's not round round for a bullet. So I don't actually know what that one is. But my find of the day, I think I got two, yeah. is this little minim there, which you can see how small he is, and a Roman silver coin. Yeah, never found a Roman silver coin before, so I'm stoked. We never find that in Amsterdam, man. No, we never. never. We wish we had fields like this yeah, in Amsterdam. Man. Amsterdam's too far north, so the Romans never were that far north, and um, that's why we don't find it. We find golden age stuff from the 16, 1700s, but it's super cool to come down to some new fields, and uh, thanks, Rob, for inviting us. He had yeah, to go man. home. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you legend. We've got our pockets full. We're stoked. Big smiles on our faces. Yeah, you! <laughs> okay, done. Done. We have a lot of things, man. Yeah.